Let's hear some elevator pitches. Hi, Dr. Smith. That was a great presentation on coastal development. My name is Nick Bumauer, and I'm a recent graduate from CSU Channel Islands, where I studied environmental science and resource management. My senior project actually examined coastal development, but it focused mostly at our coastal access sites and their effect on the local biodiversity. Using the method that I created, I found that most of our coastal access sites are rather undeveloped and don't have much of an effect on the species biodiversity. I'd love to talk to you more about my method and some more of the research that you've done here in California. All right, cool, dude. Uh, so good. I like that. I would maybe try to um, emphasize a little bit. Um, uh, so it was good, maybe a little more inflection when you said what you did versus your conclusion. So um, uh, interestingly, I found there was no effect or surprisingly, I found there was no effect or happily, I found there was no effect on on uh, the diversity, etc. cetera. Um, but overall, good. All right, cool. Thanks, Nick. How's it going? My name is Sterling Butler, and I'm an environmental science major at California State Channel Islands with a minor in biology. Um, I really enjoy various activities in the ocean, uh, but my main passion is surfing. So as a part of my senior capstone project, um, I'm currently looking at how different groups of surfers were affected by the 2020 COVID-19 beach closers, specifically looking at physical health impacts, things like uh, strength and cardiovascular declines, as well as weight gain. I'm finding some pretty interesting stuff. Um, here's my business card if you would like to discuss any more. Okay, cool. Uh, so, so good, Sterling. I like it. Um, a little bit too much preamble, I think. So you're about halfway through before you before you sort of got to your your specific work and what you're what you're doing. So move that up a bit, a little bit less about your bio. Um, also, we should be practicing this all as if it's May. So um, you're not a, an ESRM major. You graduated, or I graduated with an ESRM major, right? So, so you've already graduated at this point. You're looking for a job. You're good to go. Um, and so everything should be written from the perspective of May. Cool. All right. Hello, my name is Ashley Coronado, and I will be graduating with a degree in environmental science and resource management. With the human population climbing to 8 billion people, finding a sustainable fishery management system is crucial. My capstone found from 2015 to 2018 that the seafood products in the Ventura, Santa Barbara, and Los Angeles County markets were provided by North American fisheries, but the rest of the items were imported from other fishery regions. Could we possibly meet for coffee to discuss more about sustainable fishery management and fishery imports? Okay, cool. Um, uh, cool, so I would say, uh, Ashley, uh, good. I'd say a little bit more energy. I like, I like your nice calm stable, but a, a little bit more inflection at a couple points would be good. Um, it was, it was a bit long, 41 seconds. We want it to be 30 seconds or less. Um, uh, again, uh, I graduated in May, not, I will be graduating, right? So this is all written from the perspective of you guys are done with school. Um, there was a bit of a, of a, too pregnant of a pause between fishery and management, fisheries and management. So you were talking about stuff and then you kind of, uh, you know, there was a pause. And so it kind of, it kind of threw me a little bit. And I think it would probably throw whoever's in the elevator. Um, uh, so more, so more catches. Good. Maybe we can, we can again, add a little excitement in there in the sense of, uh, you know, surprisingly, I found, or you know, I thought that 100% of our of our seafood was going to come from elsewhere, but you know, something of that nature that that would that would give a little more way to um, or invitation into conversation uh, after your 30 seconds are over. Okay, cool. All right, rock and roll. Hello, my name is Tess Davidson Henny, and I just attended your talk on green infrastructure um, as an option for coastal protection. Um, I have a particular interest in coastal management, as I'm currently a senior environmental science major who just completed a thesis involving natural coastlines and coastal access. Uh, and if you have a moment, I was wondering if I could get your expert opinion on some questions I had about how green infrastructure might impact uh, coastal access. 
Cool. Um, all right, Tess, great. Uh, uh, night, nice and level. That was good. It came in under twenty, under thirty seconds, twenty nine seconds. Great. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, uh, again, you, I, I just graduated, or I was an ESRM major, an environmental science and resource management major. So, so this is from the perspective of after you graduate, right? Um, and uh, also, I wanted to hear a little bit more about what you found. So it was cool. I, I like you're like, hey, so I was in, blah 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 interested in this, wondering what you you know if if you have any insights. But again, we wanted to have that hook that's a little more um, an interesting result that you found or a, or a surprising uh, insight that you took, and then you can turn and ask, you know, hey, do you have any other? Do you have any insights of your own, or how does this compare to your own um, uh, observations or findings? Um, uh, that would that would be that would be even better. Cool. Thank you. Hello, my name is Sarah Diedrich, and I'm graduating this May with a degree in environmental science and resource management, as well as minors in business management and communications. I'm interested in the business side of environmental science relating to management, and my two minors have given me the background knowledge I need to go in that direction. I also recently analyzed the influence of beach health on visitor preferences in Southern California and found that there were discrepancies between current management practices and reported preferences. I think these findings could potentially change the way we approach managing beach resources. Okay, Taylor, cool. Um, thanks. So good. Uh, I think maybe a little teeny bit too much of, of your background and not enough about your findings. So you said that there was the um, there were discrepancies, but you didn't say what those discrepancies were. So I'd rather one last sentence or so about your background and another sentence specific hook about um, about specifically what the discrepancies were. Cool. All right. Thank you. Hi, my name is Hi, my name is Gabrielle Demers. I am a recent Hi, my name is Gabrielle Demers. I am a recent graduate from CSU Channel Islands with a bachelor in environmental science and resource management with a minor in chemistry. My capstone research project was on the topic of surfing science and coastal erosion. I have recently heard your presentation on the upcoming topic of surfing science. What trends did you notice in coastal erosion and that's response? I would love to further discuss your findings and compare them to mine. Thanks. Uh, right on 30 seconds. Okay, cool. Um, again, uh, Gabby, so that was good. Um, uh, there's a little bit of, you know, reading, right? Looking down at stuff. So better to look straight in the eyes and, and look the presenter or look the, the other person on zoom right in the eyes rather than read it. Um, uh, even tone is good. You might be able to emphasize a thing or two here or there and change some of the, the tonality to sort of, to emphasize a, a sentence or idea. Um, and, and yeah, again, um, you know, so uh, this was my topic. I saw you found this. Again, tell me the, a cool finding you found and, and use that as your hook. And I am a recent environmental science graduate. Hi, my name is Nick Glenn, and I am a recent environmental science graduate from Cal State, Carroll Islands. I hope that's to get into the national park. I have something to do with the ocean. Uh, speaking of the ocean, I actually just finished my capstone on stable seafood. And people familiarity with stable diets. Uh, we actually looked at the Santa Barbara, Los Angeles, and Ventura areas, but found that not a lot of people are actually familiar with, with stable diets. Would you like to know more? Thank you. Okay, Nate. Um, so, uh, so uh, good. Um, uh, I like the fact you're standing up and sort of the engaging. Wait, is wait. The things that people do and the Sorry. norms that they have, and when you have these operating guidelines of like how everyone operates. Um. Okay, Nate. So, uh, so, so great. Uh, uh, liked what you did there. That was good. I liked the fact you were standing up, and and speaking to the camera. That was good. Um. Um. Uh. Yeah, maybe a little bit less on your background. I like the way you sort of use that. And, and you know, speaking of the ocean, speaking of seafood, that that approach, I, I, I like that how you phrase that. Um, uh, uh, but a little bit less of what I want to do, right? We don't have time for that in the elevator pitch. It's just, hey, this is who I am. Boom, I found this. 
hey, can we talk about it? So again, more specific about your finding about seafoods earlier on and use that as a hook. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, uh, good. Um, I, I like the way you're trying to like sort of entice us in. That was cool. But we need, but give them a little bit more. So, so you said like, hey, I got something you're going to like to hear, but we only have 30 seconds. So they might just be thinking you're trying to scam them or whatever. So I would drop that thing in the, in the 30 seconds. Surprisingly, I couldn't believe that I found blank. And then the hook is them trying to say, well, why did you find that? Or how did you find that? Right. But let's not um, let's not do the evening news thing when they say uh, an incredibly important thing you're going to need to know for your taxes tonight at 11. Right. Don't say that. Say super important uh, tax cut having to do with education spending that was just announced. Um, um, you know, tune into 11 for the details. But but right. So so that's what we're shooting for. Um and it was it was a little low, probably because where you had to record it or whatever. But but in general, a little more. Uh, I, th I think you're totally capable of being of being uh, louder and projecting more. But but um, definitely do that when you're on an interview or speaking to someone too. Okay, good. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, good. I like the relaxed uh, tone and, and this and that. So you were going this beachfront Virgo. So you were going um, a little bit on the faster side. It wasn't too fast, but it was a little bit on the faster side. But I like that you use that inflection and, and stuff to get people um, get people going. So so you said that you used the or that you're calculating solar panel energy, etc. But again. Tell me specifically what you found. So I, I was I was looking at uh, incident solar radiation and found that uh, on our particular site we could produce X number of gigawatts uh, per year, something of that nature. Um, so again, more specific, more specific, more specific. Um, I like the tone. I like the speed. Generally speaking, um, it did end a little abruptly. So I was I was it was it seemed like good in the middle. The end kind of like whoop. So, so maybe we'll, let's work on the, the final tweak, the final end thing. Hi, I'm April Holberg, and I'm a senior environmental science and resource management student at Cal State Channel Islands. I'm interested in conservation biology as I'm doing my capstone project on the effects weather has on roadkill in Ventura County. I found that most roadkill occurs in intermediate temperatures during the day when animals are most active and more vulnerable to vehicle collisions. And I'm available if you would like to discuss this further. Uh, cool. Good. I like that. That was good. Um, uh, maybe a little more, uh, a little more, um, a little, I don't know, a little more something at the very end. So not just that I'm available, but Hey, I'd love to talk with this. I'd love to talk with you more about this if you have the time. Um, and I think the other thing that would help here is, uh, the content was good. A little more, a little more, uh, variation in, in intonation and a little more variation in terms of um, emphases. I think I think will will help uh, uh, highlight different parts of your of your speech. Cool. Um, all right. Thanks, April. Cool. Hello, my name is Diana Huerta. I am a recent graduate from Cal State Channel Islands. I just graduated with a major in environmental science and a minor in art. I really enjoyed your presentation today 
about forest management. I actually worked in Sequoia National Park um, with a conservation corp and Oregon and was very interested and had some more questions. Thank you. Um, okay, good. Uh, Dan, that was, that was cool. Um, uh, I liked at the end you smiled and that was good. I want you to be smiling. Here are the latest numbers in a pandemic. I want you to be smiling throughout. I want you to be smiling, you know, the whole time. I think, I think, uh, you're very engaging. Let's make sure that, that in, your ability to engage comes across, uh, on the, on the video screen or in the face to face, whatever it is. Um, uh, yeah. So again, a little bit about a little bit, a little too much about your background. It's all good, but but in our thirty seconds, a little too much. A little more on what you specifically found with your scholarship, and and uh, yeah, I want to see that. Okay. Uh, okay, Mia, cool. So, so good. I like the, I like the smiling, the, the, the positive stuff. That was cool. Um, uh, don't tell me that you worked on snakes. Tell me that I worked on snakes and I found, I thought I would find this relationship. I surprisingly didn't find a, you know, or, or, or however you're going to phrase it. Right. But give me the specifics. Um, uh, yeah. And don't necessarily need to know that you, the, the water district the stuff. Um, unless the person was a water uh, district or, or a hydrology type uh, type person. Hello, my name is Marie Plaza Bowl, and I am a senior at Cal State Santa Island. I will be getting my degree in environmental studies and resource management. I am from the Southern California coast, and growing up, I've always had an interest in the beach, on their biological factors, to how humans impact them. This year, my team and I did a project understanding human factors contribute to beach sustainability. I just recently heard your talk on beach armory and would love to hear more about how it can contribute to sustainability. Okay. Uh, Mary Paz, good. Um, uh, I liked it a little more smiley. Again, you're also a, a very engaging person. Um, and so, so a uh, little bit of smile will make you come seem even more approachable to folks. So that's good. Um, uh, and again, and, and again, the same thing. So I worked on this, but what did you specifically find? Like, what is what is the insight that you gleaned? That type of stuff. Um, uh, so yeah, so it was good. Okay, twenty nine seconds. Good. Hello, my name is Kenneth Jones, and I'm a recent graduate of California State University, Channel Islands, and I study environmental science and resource management. For my capstone, I worked on the Sandy Beach references data set and looked at how trash influences people's decision on the beach they go to. I studied environmental science, so I had a better understanding of how to protect and preserve the environment. I enjoy the environment because they provide peace and quiet, relaxation, rejuvenation, and recreational activities. What do you enjoy about the environment? All right, Kenny. Okay, good. So, um, uh, good stab. Um, like the fact you're standing up. Awesome. Um, a little too, but a little too monotone. Right, so he's like, "Oh, I like the environment. I like the environment." But your your voice didn't modulate, so I like the environment. I really like the environment. Right, so, so you can stretch out a word. You can you can make it be louder or or or, or more quiet. Um, uh, use that that variations in tonality as as highlighters or as bolding. If we were to you know the equivalent of bolding in, in writing out some text. Um, okay, so you you you, you said I, I I use the the reference data set. People won't know what that is. So you can say, um, uh, I used a large data set we created, you know, or, or, or we accumulated over several years, right? Something to that effect. So you don't have to define everything about the data set, but, but saying I used the data set, maybe, maybe um, sort of already put someone off because they're not entirely sure what you're talking about. Um, and again, like before, like other, like, many other folks um say specifically what you what you found or what the specific insight was in the data set um and and you know tie that to maybe your your love of the environment or nature or something like that but uh 
Yeah, okay, cool.